Great thrill to be back here at Midjura, the rail maintenance facility here in Dubbo. And look, a real focus today on some of the local providers, local employers uh, that are actually employing local people to be here and get this work done. So today I'm joined by Brock Harris. Brock's the project manager for JLE, providing a lot of the electrical work here. Brock, thanks for being here today, mate. Yeah, g'day, Goo. How are you? Yeah, good, good. This is obviously a pretty big project. How did you and JLE first get involved? Um, I think there was a tender workshop run by, by uh, New South Wales Transport. And yeah, our tender guys got involved in that and sort of started the process to price a job on this scale, I guess, and we're lucky enough to yeah, become a part of it. Did you, I guess in the early days, did you ever think what sort of a scale this would actually be and, and you're here now seeing <laughs> what it is? No, nothing this big. Yeah, it's great to have a job this big and the experience that our guys will get from this is take them through for the rest of their working life. So. Obviously an opportunity for, for lots of different levels. So when we look at JLE, uh, you're obviously the project manager, but all the way down the track to apprentices, you've got a different level of workforce. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, yeah, so we've got apprentices, operators, supervisors and then obviously project manager but the experience the younger guys will get was yeah second to none and you don't normally get, get that in regional New South Wales. Tell us a bit about your apprentices and how many you've, you've got roughly as the company and how many are actually working here? Uh, roughly as a company would probably have around the 20 mark. Would have we've got 50, between 10 to 15 working here full time. Uh, it does range with the apprentices out of that there'll be approximately eight apprentices. What feedback do you get from them, particularly the younger apprentices that, you know, possibly one of their first jobs is actually being yeah, on a job like this? I don't think they realise, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I don't think they realise how big it is and what it is, what it is going to be because they're just fresh out of school, a lot of them. So. Yeah. You know. tell, us, tell us about the involvement, I guess, here on site then. So we'll do all the in-ground infrastructure, so the conduits, pits, uh, and all the lead-ins of the... the the cabling to come into all the buildings and to get around to all the lights and uh, all the different buildings around. Now it's hard to actually imagine exactly what else will be here at the moment. We've got the massive sheds, but mm. outside there will be landscaping, there'll be lighting, there'll be all sorts of oh, stuff yeah. happening that, that you're actually setting up now. Yeah, yeah, no, it's massive. Look, there's another, oh, there's buildings all the way out there, there's fuel stuff, and yeah, yeah no, it's, it's crazy. Uh, when you look at a typical day then, do you start off with a plan knowing exactly what you're looking at your guys doing here each day? Is that yeah, how it works? Yeah, it's what we aim to do. Sometimes it changes. <laughs> But yeah, definitely do a pre-start and then have a bit of a plan on what we want to achieve and where we want to do that day and just sort of steer your way through it. Obviously you've got to be open to change because on construction side things change and you just got to roll, roll with the bunches. And how long do you reckon you're actually going to be on site here? How, how many more months or...? Uh, yeah, till sort of early next year. We're still doing some stuff around, yeah. yeah so fantastic. a few, mo few months to go yet. <laughs> what do you think the benefit of, of JLE being involved in a project like this has actually been for the company? Well, mate, we do a lot of work around regional New South Wales and to bring our main core back to where we all live, well, that's priceless. You know, we go home to our families every night and like we, not a lot of the boys have been able to do that for years, so, yeah, it's unreal. Yeah, and, and as far as that goes, I guess that's a, it's an incentive for people to stay, to stay with you, knowing that they can get work local at a big job like this. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly right, especially the long, the long scale major projects. So, you got a bit of security for months to years rather than weeks. Yeah. So no. Look, well done on being here. That uh, original tender workshop you, you sort of took part in <laughs> has paid dividends, mate. Well done. Master. Thank you. Good on Cheers. you. Cheers.